reach for the speed, reach for the race, go where the trail may Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. When we last left our story, Edward had made an astonishing discovery. Now, he is starting to get concerned. I wonder what's going to happen to her. Come on, old boy. We better go tell Sir Top and Hat about her right away. <sighs> I'm afraid this ain't going to go well. Edward started off back towards his shed, hoping the fat controller would understand. Sir so Top and Hat will understand, Edward, you know that. He's a kind man. Who knows? He might mend her. I hope so, huffed Edward. Edward was beginning to worry more and more about poor Penny. Wondering if she would be mended or not. As Edward steamed closer towards his shed, the driver noticed the points. Edward, hold the points! He yelled. Too late. Edward's wheels slipped. Edward looked forward. And then he set off again. It's a shit. Hello, Edward. What are you doing here? Uh, sir? Edward, I've heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you. Penny will be sent to the works to be mended. You are to then take her from the works back to the sheds. I will meet you there. Thank you, sir, said Edward. Later that day, Edward was at the works waiting for Penny. He was wondering what she looked like since she had been restored. He had not seen her yet. Edward was excited. He heard a whistle from inside the works. That sounds like my own, said Edward. Edward was wondering what she would look like now, since she was mended. Being curious, this driving fireman told Edward, Don't get too excited, old boy. This engine's got twice the power you have, remember that. He heard the sounds of a strong engine approaching him, not knowing who it was. Edward grew more and more excited as the sounds grew louder. Soon, Penny puffed into view. Thank you, Edward, for having me restored. Thank you for the second chance, she said kindly. Don't thank me, thank Edward. Thanks to Topham Hat. If not for him, you wouldn't be here. But I owe it to you because you found me. You convinced me to give my life another chance. Thank you. Hey, Edward, how about a race back to the sheds to see who's faster? Edward smiled. Okay. How about a wager, Penny? Penny? I was interested. A wager, Edward? What'd you have in mind? If I win, you be my girl. If you win, I do your work for two weeks. Okay, that's fair, said Penny. The drivers agreed to the race going ahead. Are you ready? Go! Edward set off as fast as he could. I'll take the branch line, Edward thought to himself. I'll be much faster, I won't worry about her, and I can win. Huffed Edward. Edward liked going the old branch line because it was the quickest way that he knew to go home. Wow! 
when will he learn? said Penny. I'll show him what a clog can do, she huffed. And with that, she set off. After Edward. Here I come, she yelled. Edward was drawing in front, but he wasn't aware how fast Penny could get up to speed. She was on the main line, and Edward had a healthy lead. Take it easy, Penny, coached her driver. You're not used to your shape. She could see Edward ahead. Now, called the driver. They opened her throttle to full. Edward was racing as fast as he could to try and keep ahead of her. I think I'm gonna win, called Edward as he raced towards the yards. She's racing awfully fast, little boy. Penny topped out very quickly with her speeds. Edward was approaching the yards and had to let off his regulator so he wouldn't have an accident. As he approached the yards, he began to slow down. For safety reasons, the junction at the bottom. Penny was gonna come roaring for any minute. As she puffed along, Edward hurried along as fast as he could to try and get to the junction before Penny could. Penny could see Edward up at the junction. Oh, she huffed. Penny had to stop at the junction to wait for Edward, for them to change the points. The driver braked hard, and his front wheels just missed the points. Bother, she huffed. Edward's gonna win. I have to wait. She had to wait for them to change the points. Edward was racing into the yard as fast as he could. Penny had gotten held up at the junction. Edward didn't know that. As he came into the yards, he began to wonder. Edward reached onto the turntable as fast as he could and hit the brakes. I'll hide in the sheds, he thought. No one will seem to know I'm in the yards if I do, he called to himself. Penny was still stranded at the junction, waiting for the points. Stupid switch! Finally, they changed the points, and she was on her way again. I hope Edward's not in the yard by now. At last, the table was in place, and Edward decided to slip quickly into the shed. I'll slide into my shed, he thought. She'll never see me here. Edward slipped into his shed and waited. Penny was wondering. She glanced around the yard when she arrived. Wondering. She arrived in the yard. She came to a halt. I won! She shouted. She looked around the yard. The sheds, everything was empty. No, you didn't, called a voice from inside the shed. Just then, Edward emerged from the sheds. It looks like I've won, Penny, laughed Edward and he puffed proudly out of the sheds towards her. Penny was in surprise. How, uh, how, how, how did you beat me? Ah, said Edwin. A good engine never reveals a secret. A deal's a deal. <sighs> All right, Edward. I'll be your girl, as promised.
see. So far to travel, so much to learn. 